The graveyards that line the roads are the first things the visitor sees. Then the bullet pitted facades of the boulevard, which marks the former front line between Muslim and Croat forces in the town of Mostar. But these days it's just a tourist attraction, a souvenir of a war that most would prefer to forget. The medieval Stari Most Bridge is a thing of the past too. A wooden footbridge spans the Nuretva at the site where the stone bridge was destroyed by Croatian artillery fire. But now the work of reconstruction is underway in Mostar. The Stari Most will live again under a rebuilding scheme which aims to completely restore the structure to its former glory as a symbol of a united Mostar. Teams of French divers are laboriously locating and salvaging every fragment of old stone from the river. And a Turkish company has started the work of construction. It may take years, but it's part of the complex process of healing the wounds of the bitter civil war in Bosnia and Herzegovina. And people are coming back to the river again. On rocks where only six years ago they would have been the targets of sniper fire, the fishermen are angling for the trout that still inhabit these polluted waters. And the recent international drama festival held here gave rise to a number of opportunities for former adversaries to mingle. This mask workshop, for example, was presented by a Croatian drama director on the so-called Muslim east bank of the river. The theme seemed appropriate to the local audience. It was about people confined in their own spaces, trying tentatively to break out and explore the possibility of contact and interaction with their neighbors. But across the river, the spire of the new Catholic cathedral has been criticized for dominating the landscape and providing a perfect vantage point for future snipers. This is the Croatian population of Mostar, and almost without exception, they adhere to the Roman Catholic faith. More than 90% of them also vote for the Croatian Democratic Union, or HDZ party, a group of committed separatists dissatisfied with the terms of the Dayton Peace Agreement in Bosnia. As with all religious discord in the Balkans, the insistence on separation is perpetuated from generation to generation. Released from original sin, these innocents are baptized into a tradition of vendetta and antagonism, which traces its roots through the generations to the Ottoman Empire, the Crusaders, and the Holy Roman Empire. 36 meters high, this cross dominates the landscape of a Mostar, but the vicar general of this diocese denies provocation. We built this cross on the hill in memory of the Jubilee year when Christ was born. And we built that last year. And this cross was built as the sign of salvation. And the purpose of building the cross is to look at it and forgive our enemy. And that was the real purpose of building it on that hill. Bosnian Croat Catholics complain that 32 new mosques have been built since the war ended. They say that their own constructions, dominating the skyline, without municipal planning commission, are no more offensive than the proliferation of mosques in the town. Catholics reason that Bosnia and Herzegovina was populated by Christians until the Ottoman invasion. They see Muslim Bosniaks, as they're known, as descended from collaborators and colonists. The Hotel Ero houses the office of the High Representative, or OHR, the administrative body set up by NATO and the European Union. There has been a massive rebuilding program, uh, much of it financed by the European Union, and uh, Mostar has a central administration headed up by a Croat mayor and a Bosniak uh, deputy mayor, and the president of the municipal assembly is a Serb. 
So there has been, as I say, uh, a considerable progress. 102 of the old bullet pitted apartment buildings along the frontline area have been completely renovated and some families have moved back. This woman is a Bosnian Croat, but her children won't find comfort in such categories. Her husband, the girl's father, is a Muslim. All she wanted was a good man, she says, and her family are happy she's found one. To this couple, the centuries-old conflicts are of no concern. Provided with a new house by an American Methodist church organization, they've established a small business and are rebuilding their lives in the former no man's land. Happy with their house and settled in a neighborhood where the old antagonisms don't seem to impinge on them, the family are optimistic about the future. But this, so far, is the exception rather than the rule. There's been very slow progress towards the reintegration of communities since the war. At the HDZ headquarters on the western side of the town, Croatian general Ante Gotovina, accused of ethnic cleansing crimes, is a local hero. But today's press conference has been called to register the party's objection to the dismissal of their president Ante Jalavic from the joint presidency of Bosnia and Herzegovina for consistently obstructing the Dayton peace agreement. Jalavic was also removed from his position as the head of the HDZ by the international community. But this fact didn't seem to have registered with Mr. Jelovic when he offered to discuss his desire for a Croatian statelet within Bosnia. The fact that we cannot accept is the two entities with a civil majority. In one entity you have a Serb majority, and in the other entity you have a Muslim majority. And in this entity, Croat Catholics are reduced to a minority, losing all their rights. And we cannot accept that situation. But while the political, religious and ethnic divisions still run deep amongst the people of Mostar in particular, and Bosnia and Herzegovina in general, there are some signs of hope for a more integrated future. At this massive concert thrown at a bombed out building in a former army barracks, the country's youth are exorcising their own demons. It's a kind of music therapy where young people of all ethnic backgrounds can work out the war in their minds. The concert was organized and promoted on a non-profit basis by a collective of young Mostar poets. Croat and Bosniak alike, they have no interest in these categories whatever. And the audience just want to party together. It could be any European city. So perhaps Mostar's future rests with these young people. Anarchists and ecstasists who believe that war is in your mind.